kind of sounds like a bottle cap. I'm not getting any EMI from my pinpointer right now. It's kind of odd. I'm right on top of it. It's bottle cap. Kind of sounds like a bottle cap. Yep. Probably several of them. So I haven't had it hunted over in this strip, strip yet. thorns man that is a wicked thorn bush man rose bush Ooh, dog poop everywhere everywhere big piles of it everywhere some foil right on the surface right there I'll pick it up because my truck is just right on the corner my bag's not too heavy yet Sounds horrible, but I'm still gonna dig it up. Give me a double taps there. Where'd it go? There. I'm gonna pop it. This one down. Grass is so long here. Ooh, it stinks here. My dog pee really bad. It's a wire. Might be a pair of glasses or something. No. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's a pair of glasses. Yep. The rest of it's probably down there. No. Okay, I'm gonna move on because it stinks here. But I'll dig the rest of that stuff out there. Feel it right there. Another arm to it. Okay, a little bit more junk. Glasses, junk. Ooh, those ro rose bushes are wicked, man. I'm gonna pass. So I'm gonna go up here to this house. right there what is going on here what is going on here it's gonna be big what's going on here it's a big rock down there it's, oh there's plastic too so it could be a relic man it's a penny right there I think Oh, it's just wasted, man. Look at that thing, man. <laughs> just toast, man. Just wasted in the garbage, man. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. Gotta love those zincs, man. Big rock right there, too. Probably the rest of that penny. <laughs> what am I doing digging this thing up? But I, I, I'm gonna dig it up. I'm interested in it. Uh, it's kind of off the side here. I'm not, I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it. there. It's a 
Apple tab. We in the 50s, man. Okay, I'm done with that hole. I can't promise you though. If I get a target, I'm gonna. Nope, it's gone. It's 22. I'm not getting any interference. It's just about a few feet back there, I was getting global in interference with my pinpointer. It's just different conditions, man. I'm telling you. This one sounds like foil, man. It's probably gonna be some foil deep. Another pull tab. Okay. So I'm right in front of some, some apartments, but I'm getting to this house right here. This is a little bit deeper target. Oh, it's hard as a rock. Man, it's gravelly. There we go. Some softer ground there. Oh, man. It is really gravelly down there. I'm not liking that. Oh, it's, uh, it's a root down there, too, man. It's gonna be deep. Hoping. No. There's a little bit of fabric right there. It's probably a grommet or something. Like some fabric, it looks like burlap. So we put some, somebody put down some burlap to uh, stop the weeds from growing. Oh man, just crunchy weedy. Is it gonna be weedy? No. It's a zinc. I probably should have thrown it in the garbage, but I'll throw it in the garbage later on. That's for sure. So let me talk about let me talk about the simplicity of this metal tecker. The reason why I like it so much is oh, there's a quarter right there on the surface. Is there another one? Two of them right there. Is there three of them? They usually come in threes. I don't know why. The reason why I like this metal tacker so much because the simplicity of it. There is another one. See, they always come in threes. Another quarter, right? Where's it at? Right there. Three. Three quarters. There might even be a fourth one, too. I don't think so. They usually come in threes, I'm telling you. I don't know why that is. Just always three quarters man so the simplicity of this metal tacker is just so amazing you know sounds like some foil just right on the surface here um, right there a little bit of foil so all my older machines they're complicated to use right I'm having to push a whole bunch of buttons and stuff to dial it in and get the settings right for the conditions and I'm always having to push buttons and that makes it so I'm not detecting. I'm messing with my detector, you know? And the newer machines are ad very advanced. You know, inside there, we have a lot of technology in there. The technology should work for you. You shouldn't have to work for the technology. All these high-end machines and stuff, you're pushing all the buttons to get them to work right because you can get them unbalanced really easily. You can get them all bent out of shape by just pushing a few buttons and then it won't perform for, for you. With the Simplex, it performs on its own. It, it makes all the decisions for you. You don't have to go into the settings and adjust all these settings and stuff. You know, like my B3i, you know. I've probably spent just as much time sitting at home on my computer or at, 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 in my chair reading how to use the B3i than I've actually used it itself, to tell you the truth. With a machine like that, you have to carry the instruction manual with you, and it takes a backpack to carry that instruction manual because it's so big, right? Why, ha why do you have to spend that much time learning about a metal tecker when this thing does just the same and actually even better? It, it outperforms the, the B3i. 
the b3i is a very good machine i mean I, i'm not knocking the b3i one bit because that thing has got me a lot of some of my awesomest finds ever but when it comes to user friendly that thing is not user friendly at all right if you're an expert metal techerist, there's no reason why you should not own a simplex. You will be amazed how easy it is to use and how high performance it is. And I'm not talking about the price point. I'm not using this detector because it's so cheap. That is, that is something cool. I mean, it's, it's cheap it, or it's inexpensive, but it works for me, man. It works for me. It's outperforming my high-end machines, man. And it's so easy to use. I get so much more time to use my metal detector. And not pushing buttons, man. Where is this thing? Ah, ooh, it's right there. Under the root, man. This one might be a little bit tougher to extract because it's off the side there. Yeah, this one might be really tough to get. Make sure it's not up in here. Oh, boy. This one might be really hard to extract. See, it's really in there. Man, I don't know about this one. I'm right on top of it. It's right here. Right on top of it. Is it right there? I feel it. I feel it. It's right there. It's a button. No, it's a rock. It's right in the sidewall right here. This one is eluding me big time, man. I got it out. It's a pull tab. Deep pull tab, man. So these machines are highly advanced, man. Use them. Use them to, to your capabilities, you know? I'm mean, the B3i struggle with a long time. I struggled for years with that thing, man. I just had to learn, had to learn it. All the menus. That machine has so many sub, 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 sub menus that it's just so complicated to use. This machine has no menus basically whatsoever. You don't, all you do is just turn this thing on and off. And that's what you have, just to use it, you just turn it on or off. It's so simple. And you can wreck shop with it just at, with one setting. I use mine in park mode, jacked up all the way, pretty much the whole time I'm using it. And in this spot, I have to have two bars of volume. So the expert machines, man, those high-end machines, they're a lot harder to use. So you're spending that much more time not detecting, not swinging. This machine, this machine makes all those adjustments for you when you're detecting. Just, I, I don't know how it's doing it. I don't know how this, 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 uh, this cheap machine or this inexpensive machine, entry level machine is doing all this. It's just the technology, man. It's the, it's, this is what the new high end machines are gonna look like. They're gonna be simple to use, man. They're not gonna be super advanced and with all the buttons and you know, there's no need for a super expensive machine nowadays, man. There, there, was, there was a need for it in the past because metal, metal texture was still fairly new. This thing is deep, man. No, it's not, it's right there. I'm spending too much time talking. I'm gonna start detecting, I'm not talking. So these machines, um, the new machines that are out these days are just amazing. It's a key, look at that sucker, it's a rust one, it's a Titan. It's a modern key. Look at that, it's a quick set, modern modern so these newer machines are just super easy to use compared to our, our older machines that we had and this this one doesn't have a threshold so you don't have to deal with a threshold <coughs> so it it doesn't need a threshold it already does it for you and it, and it does it silently that's pretty much what the iron volume is on these it's like the new type of threshold you know i've Use a lot of the old analog machines, and those things, uh, those things did really good in their days, you know, back in the days. But we're we're hitting these these uh, these areas that the old timers used to use those those analog machines with, and I still have the analog machines. I still like them, um, and we've been tearing it up with these new machines, man. It's just amazing. Amazing the technology has advanced in the last five years. 
Oh, I feel it. It's underneath that root, man. It's embedded in that root. I'm gonna pop it right here. There we go, it just came out. I think it did. Oh man, it is really in there. There we go, I got it right here. It's a nut. Still dig this stuff up, man. There could be a coin in there with it, right? Let me check with my detector. Because my pinpointer isn't hitting it. Nope. There's something deeper right there. This might have what been what I was wanting to go for, but I've been just talking, not paying attention to what I'm doing. Oh, that sounds awesome. It's probably gonna be deep iron. That's what I'm thinking. Nope, it's right there. A penny on its edge, it just fell down. It's on its edge. Is it a wheat? No, it's a memorial. So that's what I was going for. I just wasn't concentrating. So there we go. There's a little bit of information about the Simplex and or just newer machines in general. Thank you for watching. There's 10 cents right there. Hope it's not pee inside there. Mm. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.